In this video, I want to talk about Fallout, the TV show on Amazon Prime. There may be some spoilers to this series or this video. So if you have not watched it, you can click off, even though it won't be major spoilers. It's more around just like spoilers to the way that you think and the reality that you exist in. So if you're interested in seeing those concepts, highly recommend sticking through to the end of this video to understand what you can do about changing your life and getting out of the vault that you're in right now, because in all likelihood, you're in a vault just like Lucy was, just as Socrates talked about in allegory in Plato's Allegory of the Caves, where basically all it is is this right now is you. You are these people watching these shadows. You think that these shadows are your real life. And yet when you turn around and you see, and very few people ever turn around, it's taken me years to turn around and maybe it'll take you years to turn around too because when you're blind to the things that are happening, just as Lucy was in Fallout, where it's just like they just were under the impression and the belief that like the world outside was toxic and nothing else, like you couldn't go outside until the world had like basically ceased to exist. But then you come to realize later in the series, and this is one of the spoiler points that I was going to be talking about, like later in the series, you find out that like these certain people, so click off the video if you need to, these certain people decided to create this vault so that they can create a world of themselves because time is the most valuable asset. And if you can outweigh and outlast certain aspects of time, then you can win in any regard. So like the vault dwellers in 33 and all the other vaults, they had to been told this story that, hey, this is how the world is. We're all in this vault together. We're all loving and caring and we care for one another. And like, this is the world that we live in. And anybody from 31 is the one that's gonna be ruling 33 and 32. But it's like 31, you can come to find out later that there's, it's basically just like the wealthy rich people that decided to hibernate themselves and then have this control over their ideal picture of society which is exactly the correlation that happens in Allegory of the Cave as well too. Because these men and these, so like these men are being controlled by the shadows just as you are, by maybe society, your parents, your friends, your family members. I know I said family members and parents are a little bit different because you have cousins, grandparents that can also be controlling you in some way, shape, or form. But basically it's like they're telling you that these are the things that you need to believe, but you don't have to believe those things forever. You can actually be the person that decides to get up and move past these people that are just holding the shadows go past the fire and climb up to the top. The only downside to this is let's say you go out and there's a, you can read the whole allegory of the caves as well. I'll link that down in the description. If you end up going out of the cave <clears throat> and to the real world and you see how like, oh, wow, I've been blind. And you can see that as well in one of the aspects where like Lucy originally leaves the vault in, I think it's episode two of Fallout you can see that she's going out and being blinded by the sun, similar to how this guy right here is also being blinded by the sun. And one of the guys on Reddit, Apari Mia Nov, um, also noticed the same correlation. And it's like, it basically tells the story of a man imprisoned in a cave is what Allegory of the Caves is, which sh watching shadows move across like it was a theater. This is what's happening in your own life. Then he is taken out of his place and moved up to the cave. He then realizes that the shadows he's looking at he always took for the truth and entertainment were played by actors and rhetorics to keep him brainwashed basically, which is exactly what's happening to all the vault dwellers in 33. They've been brainwashed to believe that these are the things that happen. And you come to find out later, another spoilers, is that Lucy's mom found out that there was drinkable water and habitation outside in the real world and she ended up going out there. But then Hank, Lucy's father, is the one that ended up taking and killing the sanctuary that the people out in the real world didn't end up creating in California. And that destroyed Lucy and found out that like, wow, my dad's actually kind of a dick. Like I didn't know this to begin with, but like she had been believing this story as many of us do, as many of us are, and why the channel is slowly starting to grow. And why if you aren't subscribed to the channel already to have these more philosophical like ideas and concepts shared with you, what are you doing? It's completely free, click of a button, super simple for you to do. So like, you have to be willing and have the courage, and this is the hardest part with anything when it does come to like leaving what you once knew to go into the world of what you want to be as Lucy did when she left the vault for the very first time and she saw the sun and she was blinded by what she saw outside because her whole world had shifted and changed. And obviously she stayed true to herself throughout the series and she was still that good person using the golden rule and understanding that like, hey, we have these like innate good abilities that the vaults did teach us. So I'm not saying that like following the shadows is a bad idea. All I'm saying is that like, you need to be aware of the shadows that are happening and taking place in a given day. Because if you aren't aware of that, then you're basically gonna be stuck thinking and believing 
one thing is true when in reality, there's a whole different world out there as continuing from the Reddit post that I found. Then he goes out of the cave and is blinded by the sun. As I was talking about with Lucy, the sun symbolizes the truth, which is exactly what happens with allegory of the cave when the guy ends up leaving the cave is he's blinded by the truth. And sometimes when you're blinded by the truth, you don't know how or where to go. And I had a conversation with other people about this as well too in a different regard, but it's basically the exact same thing. So basically each layer of the cave represents a way of a way we perceive truth. The shadows are our senses. The sun is the sun. The sun, the use of the reason. He didn't write this very well, but that's perfectly okay. The allegory ends with the old prisoners going back to his cave to try to free his old mates. He gets beaten to death because the others don't believe him and don't want to exit the cave. This theme is classic in storytelling, like think of the Matrix, for example. So it's like, this is the issue, and this is why it's very hard. And what I've come to realize is like, you can't tell people that they're in the cave, like watching the shadows. They have to come to the realization themselves, like, hmm, is this all there really is to life? Maybe there's a little bit more. Maybe I can go find something else. Maybe things are just struggling or challenging, or it's just like, you have to be the one that decides, like, is this all I want for my life? And that's what I'm here to do is help you provide those solutions and figure out, like, do you want more? One recommendation I would have for you wanting to understand, like, are you just watching shadows or are you actually out in the real world is trying to question beliefs that you have, like writing down and pondering of like, hmm, is this what I truly want or is this something that I've been conditioned into believing that I want? Like I was having a conversation with these guys in the sauna that were freshly into college and they were talking about how they wanted to go into certain degrees. One of them was like, ah, the military route like sounds really great for me. Like it, my brain is very appealed to that, but my parents wouldn't be too thrilled with that. And I asked him straight up, I was like, it's your life after all, isn't it? He's like, yeah, that is true. But it's just like my parents are paying for college. And I was like, I get it, man. My parents did the exact same thing. So it's like when you have options, it's good to like stick with them if they're helping you out. But it's also like at the same time, and I didn't start questioning this until later in my life. But it's just like question what you believe to be true, because in all likelihood, it may just be preconditioned notions that other people that have been around you have decided to put in. When somebody does come in with, say, different viewpoints, such as myself, other people online that maybe look at things from a different angle from you, don't be like the men back in the cave and just beat up the person that comes to telling you the truth about this outside world. Be willing to question it. Like, be willing to go out and experiment with these things. I'm not telling you to believe everything that I believe. All I'm saying is like, Go test this for yourself and come to the realizations on your own. I'm not here to change anybody's mind. I'm more here just to get you to think. And that's exactly what happens in Plato of the Allegory of the Caves. That's what happens in Fallout. Like these concepts are hidden in movies and TV shows and animes and cartoons and all over the place. Once you understand how to look at them and see them from this different point of view and different angle, it just it takes time to realize these facts and these understandings. And it comes through questioning what you once believed to be true. Wonderful. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment on maybe some other philosophical approaches that you maybe realized or picked up from Fallout, along with subscribing to the channel since it's completely free and a click of a button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.